There's nothing quite like waking up to a new Kirby Star Allies trailer thanks to the Japanese website. It shows that the release date is nearly here as Nintendo ramps up the hype train for the latest Kirby game. And this time they're spotlighting the various friends Kirby can make along the way to help him on his journey. So of course we're going to break out the old analysis machine to see what secrets and details we can find. Be sure to watch our previous analyses on Star Allies though as we'll only be covering the new stuff here. The first and biggest revelation from this trailer is the fact that we see many of these friends on their own. Kirby is not traveling along with them at all outside of a few scenes. So it would seem that Kirby isn't actually necessary when playing through the game. Players have the option to choose one of his friends instead and play through the game with that power. The big question we have is whether this is available from the start or if it's an option that needs to be unlocked perhaps by completing Star Allies, or maybe even as the reward from those small puzzle pieces we've seen in the levels. Maybe finishing a puzzle of each friend unlocks them to be used on their own to really open up the amount of choice players have. After all, we even see Poppy Brothers Jr. and Chili on their own with no sign of Kirby, so it wouldn't be limited to single player either. And speaking of the puzzle pieces, we actually see two of them together in a small cache in the cave level. So it seems finding a way down to that area nets players a little bonus, something we had seen previously in the 3DS Kirby games. Likewise, we see another hint of the larger puzzle pieces, this time underneath the ground. We don't see much on the right side of the screen, but there seems to be a peg on the wall underground that's designed for the hammer ability. We're pretty sure striking it with the hammer will cause the piece of the ground blocking the weight of the puzzle to fall away. It's a great example that the Kirby puzzles we've seen in the past will certainly return here. Otherwise, the rest of the trailer very much focuses on the friends, their moves, and how they can combine their powers. Much of it we've seen before, but there are some cool new additions, just like we have cool ice bombs. These create chunks of ice after exploding, which encases enemies in a frozen block that can then be sent flying backward. Rolling the bomb also leaves a trail of ice behind and a neat visual touch. But before this scene cuts away, we see what a dribbly looks like when he's just a normal enemy. Next, we see a reminder that the element that Beam provides to weapons is also plasma, which is pretty much electricity in Star Allies. But there's a fun detail when Plasma combines with Sword as Blade Knight's weapon changes shape. It's somewhat reminiscent of the Levin Sword from Fire Emblem, though we don't think it's a direct reference. Plenty of electrical swords have the blade bend to imitate lightning. That might be an electrifying touch, but you can't beat cute in Kirby games. And nothing is cuter than Waddle Dee's riding roughs. Poor guys need to watch where they're going though as running into a block sends the Dees flying into the air. They just can't seem to catch a break. But we soon see a parasol Waddle Dee use its umbrella to take care of a new crab-like enemy. There's not a lot else we can really say about it, but the parasol itself has our interest, at least when it becomes powered up. It's the only ability we don't see combined with anything else, even during the combination sequence. Even though we don't know how it happens, this parasol is an incredible defensive option. We actually see it protect against both Wispy Woods and Francisca's attacks, keeping his friends safe. But again, how does it obtain that ability? We see a star behind the parasol symbol, so did it somehow combine with itself, or is there a special item that pushes each ability even further beyond? We just don't know. There is one power that we've seen quite a lot though, Yo-Yo. And one attack in particular seems pretty devastating, yet still varied depending on the element it combined with. The Gazer Spiral created two lightning strikes at the end of the animation during the Nintendo Direct Mini. But now we see that with Ice, the spiral creates pillars of ice, while Fire rains down four large fireballs to take care of the surrounding enemies. It's a small taste of just how different a power can be when combined with something else. But even on their own, the abilities can have some great touches. For example, we see Sir Kibble actually slice through the new enemy's mask, leaving it defenseless. It doesn't just break away either. We see the mask split before disintegrating. It's just that little touch that makes the game that much more vibrant. Finally, there's this copy pedestal which has been changed from the more recent Kirby games and is instead closer to how they appeared in Kirby Superstar. It shows the enemy it comes from rather than a star with the ability symbol. This is still a little different from Superstar though as we see a heart above Rocky's head. 
it leaves us to wonder if it'll still act the same, mainly providing the shown power to Kirby, or if it will be different in some way. Maybe touching it combines with the power you already have? Or maybe it summons that enemy as an ally? It could even be all three depending on the context. We don't really know, but that's part of the excitement for Kirby Star Allies. Each time we see something new from the game, we want to know how it works and play around with the possibilities. We simply can't wait for the full release. Of course, let us know if we missed anything in the comments below. Thanks for watching and make sure to click that subscribe button for future analyses and even more from Game Explain.